Heads up. If you have kids around, parental advisory is <laughs> yes. in effect. This, this, this is the Bonus Bone Podcast <laughs> with Lamont and Tinelli. It's like water torture. <laughs> Baby Huey. <laughs> Shasta. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bonus Bone Podcast, our spooky edition. If you're watching on YouTube, I even wore my spooky shirt for you. I know technically Halloween was yesterday, but whatever. We're still celebrating. We're between Halloween and Day of the Dead. So here we are. We're going to have some fun today for Halloween. Okay. You go. You said you had something you wanted to get out. Well, I want to start off because this is kind of an anniversary for us. Really? Sammy first was on our show the first Halloween we worked in 20, let me see, what year was that? Uh, 1989. Oh, yeah. Was the first That's time right. I met Sammy. We brought her in for a Halloween show. Sammy the Psychic is on the podcast today. Yes. And that is your anniversary. I did not this even know that. This is our yes, anniversary, of sorts it is. Sammy. Wow. Crazy, huh? Happy 30, anniversary. Happy 34th <laughs> anniversary with Sammy the Psychic. That's crazy. Wow. That's insane. Time. Where does the time go? Oh, my right? God. Right? Exactly. So, Sammy, I haven't talked to you. I've been trying to talk to you for, like, the last little while. I send you text messages, and every once in a while I call, and uh, you have been, like, missing on me lately. Oh, I have had such a fiasco going on here. It's just everybody's been trying to get a hold of me. It's just crazy. Yes. She's a popular girl. But we hunted her down for the podcast, Chasta. Yes, we did. You did. Look, when I I came on board uh, the show, I think 11 years now, that's nuts. Um, Right. You were always my favorite. I always loved listening. Before I worked at The Bone, I always loved listening to the shows where you had Sammy the Psychic on because what I love about you, Sammy, is that you just tell it like it is. That's That's why she definitely does. She always has. No filter. There's no, like, I'm going to butter this up to present this information she yes. says no here it is right and when you have a psychic in my opinion that's what you want that, right she tells the truth by the way if yeah. you're just tuning into this and you want to book an appointment with sammy the psychic 1-800-922-SAMY is that correct sammy yes Wow, All you right. still remember that. I still well remember that. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> 1-800-922-SAMMY. Yeah. I guess if you say it for that long it kind of sticks in there and just one m and sammy yeah that's right yeah all right, kids, where sh- where shall we start? I always get nervous talking to Sammy. <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that you're nervous when you talk to Sammy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so with you being nervous, let's start off with oh, you. Okay, well, we'll just get it over with. That's okay. fine, I guess. Okay. What do you see for the wonderful Chasta? <laughs> the first thing that's coming up is she's getting ready to do a lot of writing, and it seems to be related to her business. So I would assume the show. It also looks like is, is that uh, her position is going to change. Um, I really feel that this is the year coming up to where success just, the doors just open up for. Hmm. Look at wow, that, look at that. The, I told you you huh? were going to be the big shot in the company. It's an interesting day for her to say. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> it's coming your way. Just yes. All right. hang in there. I, I, I like that report, Sammy. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Fingers crossed. And I am going to do a lot of writing soon. Uh, actually, baby Huey knows this. I'll be writing a whole bunch of imaging for the <laughs> that's, station. That's right, for the fall so season. So you're, you're yeah. definitely right. But it's funny because I actually have been, uh, right before I took on the job as PD, I was offered a book deal and I, I tabled, what? yeah, and I tabled that. I put it to the side and I haven't touched it in two and a half years. So maybe that'll come back around and I'll somehow I'll have fine time to do that. I don't that know. That wasn't how. five books for a I buck from kidding. Columbia, was it? <laughs> in the, in the, this year coming up, you're going to have the support and the time to where the timing was, there was always something missing. And so it never hit this coming up year it all falls into place. And cool. So you, you'll have the support you need. Okay. Wow, well, look at that. Good things coming your way. Get my writer's you. hat on. <laughs> I love it. We'll see. Are you getting any vibes for anyone else on the show here? Yeah, you know, Paul. Uh, oh, here we go. <laughs> here we go. How did I know that was coming? <laughs> you're going, with, you're going with the low-hanging fruit right off the bat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Uh, you need to be very, very careful over the holidays. I see uh, a wreck ex- accident, <laughs> and it looks like it says that uh, you could be breaking some bones. 
Uh, oh my God. Okay, but uh, you, you need to be very, very careful through the holidays. Are they his bones or someone else's <laughs> yeah, <right>. bones? <laughs> oh, no, they're his. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, uh, you know, he needs to drive defensively. Be aware of your surroundings because it, it almost appears that somebody is negligent, like they run a light or something like that. And I'm that. not it paying attention. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm hearing it's not your fault. So, I mean, well, that's not my fault, silver lining. I, well, does he have yeah, an open container of booze in his hand yeah, when someone careful. runs into him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, oh, no, be aware. Not good. not good. How about health and finances? Overall, health actually looks like it's improving. It looks like you've really? changed your diet. That's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> and, um, and I am seeing uh, your energy coming back up. It's almost like you're coming out of a, a long law. And so it looks like that uh, things are going to really start taking off again, and you're going to feel like you can participate. You know, it's like you're back in your skin, if you will. Oh, oh, okay. That's great. It is a foreskin, but yeah, you'll right. be in your skin. Oh, for there God's you go. sakes. Didn't you miss <laughs> this? Just call me Zipperhead. <laughs> <laughs> but there is some sorrow around you. Someone's going to be passing. Again? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, the guy goes to a funeral every second week, so. <laughs> that's a true story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. That's crazy. I have a question for you, Sammy. When you get those vibes, do you get any kind of energy around who it is? I'm not asking you to tell Tanelli who it is. <laughs> Thank but you. But I'm, I'm just asking. I am. If you, if you get like a, a vibe of who it is, and if you do, do you tell that person? Do you know uh, the answer is yes and no. I, uh, it just popped into my head. And, and she doesn't just, have a filter. No, she doesn't. No, no, no filter. I just like it is, you know, what I'm getting. Uh, but, uh, uh, God, I lost my train of thought. I'm getting old. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Oh, my God. But uh, uh, it's one of those things that it just comes up, and it's like in my head, I get like a little quick sound, and all of a sudden, I'm tapped in, and there's the information. And do you see those things in images or words or in, or do you feel it in energy? Oh, all of the above. Okay. All of the above. Yeah. I, uh, like when I do uh, homicides and stuff, they usually, uh, create this video and I see the whole thing taking place. Oh, wow. Uh, and so, and then sometimes I'll just hear it and sometimes it'll be, I just feel it. And so you never know how it's going to come across and everybody's, different you know it's like everybody's personality is different well tapping into people is always a new experience because there's no two alike there that were times crazy. there were times that she has told me something's going to happen and i say to her sammy there's no way that can happen <laughs> that's yeah. true right, you've Chad? said that to her before. right sammy and yep. 10 years later it happened to me and yep. you foresaw it 10 years in advance and I'll, and I'll tell you what, what the instance was when she said that I'm going to have another child. Oh, yeah. And I said, no, there's no possible way. Sure enough, there was my surprise. Same for yeah. me. Yeah. I was told uh, by the doctors. Yeah. yeah. I was told by the doctors I couldn't have a child. And she told me I was having a child. And I was like, yeah, that. she crazy. Apparently yeah. she's not. <laughs> yeah. She knows. I know. It's crazy. Huh? It's so much fun. All right, Sammy, I want you to feel the vibe right now. I want you okay. to zero in. I'm, I'm shutting my eyes, and I'm <laughs> pointing towards the phone, and I'm giving you vibes right now. What do you see for me? Um, there's an investment coming up, and it's going to be um, kind of touch and go. It almost looks like it's going to go through, and then it stops. That kind of thing. Those sound like all but, my investments. <laughs> know, but eventually, it will come to pass, and it looks like is is that uh, financially, it's going to be very advantageous to you. Emotionally, though, it's going to be very taxing. Oh, look at that! That's interesting. Cha Ching. Mm. Yeah. Just stay with it, right, Sammy? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How many years down the road do you see this yeah, coming years. through for me? Ten <laughs> yeah, years. Right? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. What? How many years down the road do you see this big investment paying off or project? It, it looks like about three years. 
Three oh, years. Oh, that's not bad. I don't yeah, know if I can one, wait that long. That's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, it looks like is is that once it engages, it goes very quickly. It's mm. just getting to that point to where it engages. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Well, I am huh. working Good on a stuff. project right now. I was going right. to say, you are Chasta, working you on a project. Do know, Chasta I, I know. knows I've been working on a project. I was going to ask, have you talked to Sammy about that project? No, not no, at no. all. You not haven't really talked all. to anybody about I it. I haven't talked to anyone. I've told you, and yeah. that was it. Wow. Okay. Right? Oh, this is good news. And I know the hump she's talking about, getting over that initial hump. Oh, do I know getting things- over hump? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Hump, hump. <laughs> all right, Sammy, how you feeling about baby Huey? Are you getting any energy off of Huey? He's wiggling his fingers at the camera right now. <laughs> you, you know you're terrifying him, so give me a real good, <laughs> a real nasty one well, for you him. You know, the first thing that I'm getting is, is that there's two things. One, he needs to use caution um, with uh, accidents. Uh, he's going to be very prone for accidents. He's right not now. driving with Paul, <laughs> is he? Yeah. He's in Paul's car. I know, right? <laughs> well, he probably hits Paul. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> But it also looks like is is that uh, um, he's getting there is an opportunity for him to do um, I, I almost want to say like not really a movie but maybe videos or something of that nature male modeling but, like an influencer he's going to be a social media <laughs> wrestling influencer uh, there you go but it looks like that that's going to go really well. Uh, He's got a lot of changes coming up, and they're going to come in very quickly when they hit. Mm-hmm. The thing that he needs to do is stay focused. Otherwise, he's going to miss a lot of opportunities. Pay attention. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. When do you see these changes coming for him? Uh, they're already uh, initiated. So uh, by the end of ne- this time next year, uh, it should be well underway. Huh. That's interesting. Oh, okay. wow. Okay. I have, okay. do you see wrestlers? Are there wrestlers <laughs> in a video here? Because I feel like that is definitely the path. Oh, that's funny. Uh, you know, I don't. I feel that this is more like, um, um, how do I say it? Like, not like a documentary, but um, um, information. You know, mm-hmm. it's almost like he's going to create something to where he's sharing information. He's going to be an influencer mm. for Green Day. <laughs> That's what it is. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be awesome. Okay, I have a couple questions for you. Number one, okay. you know, you, you talk about doing, like, homicide investigating. You help out. Tell the boneheads, like, what that looks like, because I think that is Absolutely fascinating. I want to understand how that works whenever you get tapped. Is it the FBI? Is it local police? Who is it? Uh, all of the above. Uh, it was It was really funny. I, uh, I was doing, I was called in on a case uh, in Connecticut. And when they took me on the scene, it did, a whole video went off. And then I saw where the guys were waiting and everything. And the cop goes, nah, there's nothing like that. I was born and raised here. And I'm going, all right. So I said, it's a mile away. So he goes, okay, sets his odometer and uh, starts making circles and going outward, outward. Sure enough, all of a sudden he looks up and there's the uh, building. There's the signs, everything, walked in. Everything was exactly like I told him it was. Uh, it, it was just incredible. So I solved the cases in uh, about 15 minutes. 15? Then, wow. Wow. And then the FBI called me one day and scared me. <laughs> he said, uh, you know, we've done some investigation on you. I said, I haven't done anything. And they said, no, uh, our investigation shows that you're one of the best and you're legitimate. And we have some cases we want to know if you'll work on. And I did and uh, solved all of them. Wow. Incredible. That, that, that is incredible. Yeah, I can hear it, feel it, see it. I uh, you know, I just I just never know how it's going to come across. But I kind of stepped back a little bit because I started seeing too much of what people do to children and stuff and mm. so uh so I kind of stepped back. But I still do it occasionally. Yeah. Hey Sammy, do you see anything spooky for Halloween for any of us? 
Uh, it looks like is is that it's either Paul or one of his neighbors is. I, I see the lawn being peed. <laughs> Classic. That would be our house in the neighborhood. Yeah. Yes, I love that. Is Paul doing That's the funny. TPing? Yeah, no, just the peeing. <laughs> I haven't heard about people doing that in years. I know, right? That's classic. All right, so I have one final question. We'll we'll leave everybody on this. For anybody who okay. feels like they might have some sort of intuition or or maybe even psychic ability, I definitely do not see things. My grandmother, my excuse me, my great grandmother did very explicitly saw things. Uh, I don't see things, and I don't necessarily hear things, but I definitely feel overwhelming intuition from time to time. And oftentimes it's right. Like to the point where I just almost, I, I want to get out of my skin because I feel so definite about something. Um, Are you talking about our death pool? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> why, Chasta, why? Well, from time to time that has uh, reared its ugly head. But yeah. how do people, if they want to tap into it, what would you, what advice would you give to somebody like that? Well, first of all, is lose the term psychic because that has a whole lot of bad influences around it. What you want to do is realize what it actually is, and it's the interaction of your senses through your environment. So it's your fight or flight mode. And then what happens is, is that if you start paying attention to where things are landing, like is your heart getting fluttery, you know, are you getting migraines, uh, you know, things like that. And then look at what comes to pass. That will start you understanding how it's communicating with you. And then what you want to do is, is that you want to just, when these things come in, ask the question and then shut up and listen to the answer. We're not taught to do that. We're taught to mind. And we're also taught that this is all taboo and everything else, but it's your primal instincts to survive. So the quicker you can learn to be quiet, listen to yourself, the faster you're going to understand how it works and how it affects you. And you'll get really, really good at it. That's incredible. Because everybody is intuitive. There's right. no exception the rule. Yeah, that's the way I've always felt about it too. Okay, I said that was my last question, but this is my last question. Uh, sorry, I love this shit. Um, <laughs> do you do you, I hate to even say speak with the dead because again it goes back to like silly connotations. Oh, of people. you can't wait for oh, this I, answer. I know this answer from her already. Yeah, do you connect with the people on the other side? Oh, absolutely. I've done that since I was an infant. Absolutely. How did that start for you? Um, it's Started well. If I told you, you'd think I was crazy. That's but okay. It, Dive in. I won't it, think you're crazy. Everybody else can. Lamont will no, make fun of you. <laughs> I was an infant, and um, I'm not going to say who because I don't w want people going crazy. But uh, there was a um, a spirit that would come into my nursery and tell me stories, sing to me, and everything else. I, and then later on, we found out when I was three who that person was. And then um, uh, it it just started. It just happens. I don't know how to explain it. But what I find is is that it 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 just I don't know how to describe it. But what it I guess what it is 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 that I just kind of never have judged it or tried to understand it. I just let it happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just clicks. And the next thing I know, it's happening. Wow. Is it still happen to this day? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you welcome yeah. them or do you tell them to buzz off sometimes? Or do you try to figure out why they're there and what, what your purpose is in their, their life or their afterlife? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All of the above. Matter of fact, you're going to love this one. My house has a lot of spirits running around, and the property has a lot of spirits. And uh, um, a friend of mine, him and his friend, were coming for a visit, and he's a little sarcastic thing, and he, not my friend, his partner, and he walks in the door, and he said, I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to hear about your spirits and everything else. He says, I think that's just a bunch of garbage. So I looked at him and I said, I don't have a problem with it. I said, but if they choose to show up, I can't speak for them. Well, they spent the night and absolutely hysterical. During the night, he gets woke up and there is a man sitting in the chair by the bed. And he's. 
staring, and the guy's not saying anything. He's just looking at him. So he wakes uh, he wakes Dave up, and he says, wake up. There's a, there's a guy in the room. He goes, where? And he says, right there. He's sitting in the chair. He's been staring at me. And he says, well, what does he want? And he says, I don't know. And he said, well, don't worry about it. Go back to sleep. <laughs> yeah. So the next morning he came down and uh, he had told me what had happened. So when he came down, I looked at him and I said, uh, so I hear you had a little bit of an experience last night. He goes, oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it was hilarious. It scared the hell out of the poor guy. <laughs> hey, Sammy, so if you went into my house or Chasta's house or Tanel's or Baby Huey's, you would be able to tell if there's other people there, some some spirits? Oh, absolutely. Not only that, is is that I can tap into your house and I can pick them up that way. Hmm. Wow. So do yeah. you can you can you tap into like like, like, could you tap into, like, if I ask you to connect with my father, would you be able to connect or does he need to come to you? No, actually, is is that uh, I can connect to them if, if they are, excuse me, if they're not busy or have other plans or have done something. Or have because done. on the other side, we're still learning and going through things. It's a cycle. And so uh, I'll tell you a story. There, there was a gal years ago who came uh, for a session, and all of a sudden uh, her dad came in. And I was talking to her about it and everything. She goes, oh, my God, you're absolutely right. And she says, can I bring my brother and you talk to him? I said, sure. So a week later, they show up right as I tuned in. He said, this isn't a good time for me. Can we do it next week? <laughs> oh, my God. No way. He was busy yeah. in the afterlife. <laughs> yeah, absolutely hysterical. I, then I had a friend that I love this. He wanted to know, he says, what's it like when you die? And I said, well, it's like going from one room to the other. The scenery basically changes. Wow. And he's like, oh, well, a year later, he, uh, I said, it's effortless. A year later, he passes away. About three o'clock in the morning, I uh, I get woke up and here's an image of him with a soft glow around it. And he said, I came to say goodbye. And I said, what happened? And he says, one minute I was sitting on the couch, I stood up and then I was here. He said, it was effortless. I said, well, I told you because that doesn't mean I'd believe you. <laughs> wow. Sammy, I don't know what's going on right now, but my heart is beating like 200 miles a minute, and and I feel like there's no breath in my lungs. I don't know what that... Well, that uh, must be my aftershave. I don't know what's on going you. on, but like I can't catch my breath. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, it does. Is is that what you want to do is try and control your breathing. So hold your breath, blow it out slow, start controlling that breath. Mm -hmm. What's happening is, is that your father's trying to contact you right now. Yeah, I'm feeling that. That's yeah. really crazy. <laughs> you wow. don't know why, but you've always had issues with your your dad's love for you. <laughs> he wasn't good at really showing things, but by doing things, that was how he showed you he loved you. And you're the apple of his eye. He loves <laughs> you to death. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's really cool. That's good stuff. I think her dad's trying to tell her, give Lamont a raise. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you yeah. go. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I feel like woozy. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> well, on that one, I think we should end it before Chasta passes out <laughs> no on kidding, us. kidding, right? Yeah, I yeah. think he might. You okay? Yeah. I just, like, overwhelming. I can't even She never holds speak. back. That's why we love her. <laughs> coming to the surface and so it'll it will make you lightheaded dizzy sometimes it can even cause you to pass out yeah yeah that's wild i'm gonna yeah. have to go get a glass Pretty of water <laughs> yeah, we'll have to talk i've got a lot of stuff i want to tell you about your dad i would love to hear it definitely yeah. thank you so much sammy i sammy really appreciate the psychic. that she's incredible her number 1-800-922-SAMY we One love you sammy you're the best sammy yep. thank you sammy and I miss you so much. We miss you. We'll have to do this again soon. Yes. Absolutely. This was fun. Thank you, guys. All righty. You take care. Bye, Sammy. See you, Sammy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm not kidding. Right. Wow. I started getting like, like I couldn't even stand up. Incredible.
Like I, and, and just, just it's just lifted now. Yeah. Like it's just gone. Yeah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. This is one hell of a podcast. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for being here, guys. I got to go get some water. Thank God your heart didn't explode. I know. I right? was like, I felt like my heart was going to like jump out of my chest and I got like the sweats. Right. And I was like, that's strange. Oh, it's just hot in here. I didn't, okay even, I didn't even listen to the story she was telling. I could not tell you what she told. I don't even know. Like I, my brain was like just stopped functioning. Wow. That happens to me every day. <laughs> At 6.05. <laughs> I love you. All right. Thank you guys for being here. Make You'll get sure. used to it. Once, once the show starts. Uh, wow. What a day. Oh, my God. All right. Well, make sure you follow 107.7 okay. The Bone across the board on all the things. You know what to do. We love you for being here. We'll talk to you love, next love. week. Love, love. Bye-bye.